Hello, this is Michael Richards from Technolube.com. Today we're going to do a simple AMSOIL conversion in a 2004 Honda CRV. It's a 2.4 liter uh, VTEC engine. We're going to be changing it over to uh, the AMSOIL 020 motor oil and an AMSOIL filter. And before that, we're going to also run a flush through it to try to get rid of any debris inside the engine already. Uh, it's got pretty regular maintenance to it and oil change intervals, so I'm not expecting too much of a, a dirty engine there, but the flush will help to loosen whatever deposits are still within the engine. Uh, what we will be doing is putting a temporary filter on as we change the flush, or just before we flush. Then uh, the engine's going to be running for a bit, heat up, work off those deposits, put the flush in the engine, and this other filter will be capturing whatever comes loose. After that process, we'll be replacing the filter with the AMSOIL filter and the AMSOIL oil, uh, draining before, of course, and uh, we should be good to go. So let's get to it. Okay, the oil filter on this car is located on the back. Uh, so we're just going to reach back here, which I'm actually touching the filter now, and we're going to take this off. You probably can't see it from back here, but uh, it, is, it is down there right here. And what we're going to do then is put this filter on, which is just a simple Fram filter. Um, probably not the best one, but good enough for putting on for about 20 minutes as we do the flush. So let's take the other filter off and just loosen it. And it's actually pretty loose already. It's coming off. Almost off. And off. And let's try to get this up without pouring it all over. There's the old filter. I guess we'll just put it there for the moment. And the trick will be trying to find this and put the new filter on. Okay, the new filter is on, so we've got the AMSOIL engine flush out here. Just going to pop it open and make sure the foil on the top is open so we can drain it out. We'll take the oil cap off, try to pour it in nicely without getting it everywhere. one can of this for about four to six quarts of oil. We just close it and now we start the car up and uh, let it idle, let a fast idle for about 15-20 minutes and then we'll be all set to change the oil. So let's start it up. And this is the easy part, just turn it on. And let it do its job. <laughs> 